Grand Rising. I'm going to show you how AI is fulfilling scripture. See, they were well aware that the Most High was going to send the Holy Spirit to awaken us. And these people, these Gentiles, cannot contend with us anymore. They cannot have a meaningful debate, meaningful, you know, um, back and forth using other books, using other references. So they had to create something like an AI in order to be able to contend with the chosen ones, with the awakened ones. See, we are powered by the Holy Spirit. These other people, entities that are here on this planet, they, can, they don't have the knowledge understanding that we do. They don't have the Holy Spirit. So I kind of went back and forth with AI talking to them about, especially you to get into apocryphal books and things like that. They, if you put like something about the apocrypha, they give you the wrong um, verses. They give you the wrong information. You have to kind of correct them. They try to fix it, but they still give it, you know, they still give it wrong stuff. Now check this part out right here. I talk about Baruch 4 and 6, you know, and us being sold into slavery, sold to the nations, but not for our destruction. In the context of Baruch 4 and 6, the reference to being sold to the nations likely alludes to one or more of these historical events, emphasizing the idea that the Jewish people were dispersed Okay, and subjugated by foreign powers. And I was talking about the Assyrian captivity and the Babylonian captivity, which has nothing to do with this. Okay, but they try to force that, you know, those, those captivities. They're always trying to force things that happened in the past and make it sense. Those people that ish today were those people, which is like, no. All right. However, the verse also looks forward to a future redemption, promising that God will restore his people without requiring payment or ransom. Now, I said, Show me some examples. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you need to bring some receipts, bro. You're not, you're not going to be the, uh, I'm a computer and I'm right. Like, though, I'm white and I'm right. That's not going to work anymore. So I said, show me some examples of them being sold to all nations during the Assyrian exile. Here's their response from AI. Oops, I can't generate that image. Can I help you imagine something else? I was like, yeah, because that doesn't exist. But hey, let's just take another step forward. Show me proof in writing that they were sold to the Assyrian exile. So, you know, you can sit there, you know, they used to see things like, oh, they were sold during that time. That was what this happened. So I'm like, well, then show me some proof. You know, the, now I understand AI has access to all of these books, all of these records, all these information that the that a regular human being is not going to have access to. So check out, I'm sure they're going to have a good response, right? Let's check it out right here. I apologize for my earlier mistake. Upon reviewing historical records and biblical texts, I found no evidence that the Assyrians sold Israelites into slavery. So there you go. He, now, I, got, I got AI backpedaling left and right. Left and right. Getting, getting caught in lies, getting caught in just, hey, they're just saying certain things. But see, this will work on 99% of the population because they want to believe that those are the people. They want to believe. They haven't studied. But see, when you actually have studied and you've been, you know, blessed with knowledge, understanding from the Holy Spirit, even AI can't mess with us. AI can't touch us. You see what I'm saying? Again, now you got AI apologizing for lying. I apologize for my earlier mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was a lie. Upon reviewing historical records and biblical texts, I found no evidence that the Assyrians sold Israelites into slavery. Now check this out. He says, he continues, so instead, the Assyrians typically deported conquered peoples to other parts of their empire, a common practice known as forced relocation or mass deportation. This allowed the Assyrians to repopulate conquered territories, break the cultural and national identity of the defeated people, and integrate them into the Assyrians. So he goes, I apologize for any confusion caused by my earlier statement, and I hope this clarification helps. Yeah, it helps to show that you, you're full of shit. Helps to show that you are a bunch of liars. And see, this is what happens when you come against the real people of the Most High. You're going to get destroyed. You did, and this, this is prophecy going on right here. See, you guys cannot contend with us. So therefore, if you got to set up a whole program that has access to all this other information, and even still, they're getting smoked now. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You start talking to them about other things, start talking about other topics. And you can quickly see how... AI is programmed to lie. Well, what it does is it gives you the status quo, you know, breakdown. It gives the, you know, company breakdown. It gives the Psalms 83 breakdown. And then usually 99% of people stop right there because that's what they want to believe. They want to believe that we're African-Americans. They want to believe that we're not the people of the book because they want to believe that what their pastors have told them about never having to pay is true. They want to believe that we have that curse of ham, 
Canaan, and that we were supposed to be slaves forever. But as you can see, like it's constantly with, with AI. You start giving them information, you start asking questions, they give you a breakdown, and then you start, at, you know, you prod a little bit more. You go deeper than just surface level, then all of a sudden, AI is having to say, uncle, uncle, you got me. Hey, hey you got me again. Hey, you caught me in another lie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. Oh, that makes, that makes a good point. Oh, you know, I can see how you come to that conclusion. I'm going to show you guys a couple more points shortly, but I wanted to just to get started with this. So you're going to see there is no proof that these people went through slavery, like 400 years of slavery. They want to keep on talking about the Babylonian captivity. They keep talking about the Assyrian captivity. Talk about that was a fulfillment of this prophecy and that was a fulfillment of that prophecy. But as soon as you start to scratch beneath the surface, you see real quick that even AI has nothing. They can't prove anything. So see here real quick, I asked about Baruch 2 and 30, King James Version. And it says, for the Lord hath done that which he hath had devised. He that he hath uh, fulfilled his word that he had com commanded by his servant, the prophets. That's not what Baruch 2 and 30 says. It talks about us waking up in the lands of our captivities because we were a stiff necked people. But you can see right here, check it out. Look, look at what it says before that. that. That is not even the verse right there. So willingly deceitful. It says, in this verse, the prophet Baruch acknowledges that God has carried out his plan and fulfilled his word, which was spoken through his prophets. This uh, verse is a recognition of God's sovereignty and faithfulness to his promises, even in the midst of the judgment and exile. But this is what the real Baruch 2 and 30 says. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So as you can see, AI is lying here too. So I asked, when does Baruch 2 and 30 happen to the you know, the Jewish people? And therefore was the wrath of the Lord poured out upon us and our princes and our priests and our prophets and our fathers. That's what now, now they change it to another one. This uh, verse is part of the book of Baruch, which is considered apocryphal by the Protestant Christians, but canonical Catholics, blah, blah, blah. Baruch 2 and 30 refers to the Babylonian exile. Again, that's not what it's talking about because they didn't they didn't forget who they were. When the Babylonians can't conquer Judah, destroyed the temple. So again, they're trying to force these other events in the past. As if some of that's what's, you know, this is, this is fulfilling. So then I said, well, wait, Baruch 2 and 30 talks about the Israelites waking up in the land of their captivities. Yes, you are correct. Baruch 2 and 30, you know, and the KJV says, For we lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers from our youth, even unto this day. And have not and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. So again, it's a lion. However, in some translations and versions, Baruch two and thirty reads: For behold, we are in the land of our captivity, and thou, O Lord, art in the place of thy holiness. See, they're just changing. Or, for behold, we are bound in the land of our captivity, and thou, O Lord, art in the place of thy holiness. So as you can see, they're being willingly deceitful. Not about us waking up in the lands of our captivities. Anything that goes with us waking up being in captivity, forgetting who we were, actually fulfilling the prophecies, these people have been working to hide. But see, this is, this is the prophecies, you know, that we're going to lay up in the land and there's no one's going to help us. So everyone in Psalms 83 is against us. So, hold on. So as you can see here, even Jeremiah 17 and 4 was a prophecy spoken. You know, when it's happening to the Jewish people. It was a prophecy spoken by Jeremiah and it has been fulfilled in various ways throughout Jewish history. Babylonian exile. Assyrian exile, Roman conquest, Spanish Inquisition, and it also talks about the Holocaust here as well. So as you can see, like they're trying to face it. all of these prophecies just were all fulfilled back then because they don't want people to realize that these prophecies are being fulfilled right now. It's somehow like the whole 2,000 years of the church has done nothing as far as prophecy is concerned. It meant absolutely nothing. But we know that that is not the case. We know that this is them putting up that white flag because as a man, they can't, they can't stand up to us. So therefore, they got to set up these programs. And as you can see, these programs can't stand up to us either. All praises to the Most High. Shalom.